So while these here are paramecia, these are single celled uh, microorganisms and they are having a real stress. As a matter of fact, they have lost so much water because of uh, salt that I added. And this one over here is pooping right now. <laughs> Hello and welcome microbe hunter here. Um, yeah, today I'm going to show you, um, yeah, pooping and uh, dying of uh, microbes um, because um, these videos that I've uh, got over here actually are quite old. Uh, they are from the year 2000 uh, because I that time I did my first uh, mic uh, video recordings using a microscope and I taped everything and I just recently rediscovered uh, those videotapes and I was able to digitize them and now I'm able to show them to you. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of uh, single celled uh, microorganisms here. Um, I also took uh, videos of worms, um, of mites, uh, of insects and so on. But in this case, uh, today I actually discovered a video clip uh, where I added some salt water and I added some salt water uh, to those uh, paramecia here um, and uh, then I was able to observe osmosis which is the diffusion of water. So the water is moving from an area of uh, basically lower salt concentration to an area of higher salt concentration which is the surrounding medium and um, I was able to see that uh, those paramecia actually started uh, to lose uh, quite a bit of water um, and uh, here those uh, paramecia here they have gathered around an air bubble uh, because uh, they like to do that uh, because uh, these uh, microbes need a lot of oxygen and of course there where there is uh, an air bubble this is where they like uh, to gather around and uh, in the meantime uh, almost 23 years later um, of course our microscopy hardware has improved quite a bit uh, and uh, this is how it looks uh, using modern equipment yeah still some things do not change again here we've got uh, those little microbes gathering um, around uh, the air bubble under the microscope slide and this one over here is a close-up uh, of uh, one of those cells actually expelling some of the undigested material um, yeah there is a little so-called anal pore or also known as a cytoproct <laughs> where the paramecium is releasing um, yeah the und undigested uh, material yeah so yeah as a matter of fact it's it's, it's pooping right yeah but uh, the really interesting thing is is when i added the salt water and here we are again and, and those uh, uh, paramecia here um, cannot move away from the salt because at the top there are some algae and some other solid material which acts almost like a wall and the salt water is approaching from the bottom and if you look very carefully you're able to see that th those paramecia start to become thinner and thinner and thinner um, as they lose water um, and this is uh, of course um, happens uh, by uh, osmosis and uh, sooner or later the water loss is so extreme that the cells are not able to survive anymore um, um, and the salt will also do its uh, thing in the sense of probably disrupt disrupting um, certain chemical processes in the cells. And then, of course, uh, the cells, um, yeah, they will they will die and they will stop moving as well. Um, and uh, when you observe them, you're going to see that they start all, all of a sudden they start spinning and, and uh, moving very quickly and then they stop moving. Yeah, um, yeah so this is uh, quite a nice uh, little experiment to demonstrate the effect of salt water um, and the effect of um, osmosis on cells. And that's actually one of the reasons why you're not supposed to drink salt water because the same thing would happen to our own body cells the salt uh, would accumulate in the blood and then there is an osmotic imbalance and uh the blood cells are going to lose uh, water just like uh, those paramecia over here. And so I kind of like it all the time when uh, simple experiments are able to demonstrate uh, some relatively important uh, phenomena. Yeah, here, that is uh, the one, last one over here. And yeah, you, very thin. As it rotates, you can actually see that it looks uh, looks quite thin. Yeah, well, if you like uh, to see uh, more um, of uh, these uh, videos uh, where I'm adding salt water, yeah, here is one that I could uh, recommend. Um, yeah, it's uh, the plasmolysis is a, a very interesting thing to observe. And yeah, I wish you all the best and uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.